Hey everyone, it's Kelsey at K Real with Mrs. B, and I did not get a chance to do my weekly update with the budget, but I made sure to check in with the budget at least every couple of days. I have the Every Dollar free app on my phone, and then I check in with my bank accounts and make sure that I didn't miss any transactions, and I put them in right away. Uh, life has been very, very busy and stressful. If you don't know, I am a high school teacher in Wisconsin, and we had been virtual for the first six weeks of school, and then we were preparing to go hybrid, uh, so we had to have orientation for students, like freshmen to come in and know where their classes were. We needed to prepare our classes, remove desks, space them out three feet apart, add technology equipment to the classroom, make seating charts, et cetera, et cetera, lots of meetings and whatnot. And uh, we were having half of our students come in physically for two days, and then the other half were virtual at the same time, and then everyone was virtual on Fridays. That lasted one week, <laughs> and that was last week, and we got the notice on Friday that we will be going back to virtual coming Monday until at least the end of the month. So it has been really stressful. It was so good to see the students in person as safe as possible. Uh, but the rates in Wisconsin have been increasing dramatically and people are not being safe. So it's unfortunate to go back to virtual, but it is the right thing to do. I just worry about the mental health of my students and it has just been very tough to manage how much to focus academically and how much to focus on their mental well-being. So I apologize for the quick little life update there, but it has been a stressful month, but we're working through it and I'm staying positive as always. So let's check in with the budget finally with all of you. So we're just over halfway through October. And am I excited to say that my raise at work went through? So I finished up my master's, thankfully, last May. I cannot imagine trying to finish my master's during this year. My thesis itself had been cut. The data that I was collecting for my thesis was kind of cut short because of COVID, but luckily I was able to finish up my master's degree and everything's good. So I actually got a little bit of back pay. So I will be making more than what I had planned this month because of that back pay. So I'm excited for that. I will update that planned amount at the end of the month when I get my second paycheck. John's on track. I had said that he would get 3,500 this month because it's a three paycheck month for him. And so far he is doing well there. We paid our mortgage. We pay a couple, uh, almost two, I want to say about 235 more than what our mortgage and escrow and all of that actually is. So we're paying more towards principal. I'm just making an even 2000. I still have to do that video sometime for you all to break it down, the purchase of our home and all of that. The energy bill, I did pay that. Um, I just didn't put it in. So let's go ahead and put that in right now. That was 120.96 and that was paid the Sunday beforehand. And of course I didn't put it under the right <laughs> the right one. So the nice thing here is if you're doing it on the computer, you can just drag it over into the category. Oh, you know what? I must have. Why am I seeing this wrong? Now it's in there twice. Oh my goodness. See, I'm not even in the right mindset. <laughs> I was looking at it. I see. I was looking at this blue line uh, above it and thinking that like I hadn't paid it yet. But it was the mortgage that I hadn't put a transaction in for. My bad, y'all. So that was obviously paid the first of the month. Um, I just forgot to put in the transaction because in my mind, that's just something that I normally do. Anyway, so now you get to see how you delete a transaction and how you could drag one over or add a transaction by just clicking on the category itself. Moving on, internet will be taken out later this month and water is not due in October. 
We did pay our car insurance for the month. That's for two cars. Gas, we've been, we're on track. So I did 120 and I will at least be working ho from home Monday and Tuesday this coming week. I don't know if they'll be requiring us to teach virtually from the school, but I was also able to teach from home on Friday when we were all virtual. So hopefully it'll be, we'll be under in gas. Parking, we are also a little under on for John's work. He's working from home on Thursdays. Groceries, we have about $80 left and I already have all of the meal plans for the entire month. We just need to go back to the grocery store to pick up some, a little bit more items like butter and milk and some veggies and stuff like that. So $80 is gonna be just fine for the last two weeks. In restaurants, we already spent the $25 I had planned. I got a bunch of toppers one night that lasted us like several days. Um, so that was a nice treat. Just because it's been cold and dreary and all of that stress, I'm just giving myself an excuse. Uh, for beauty and clothing, I have not, I plan to get um, some more clothing for work, but you know what, who knows who's going to see that new clothing. So <laughs> I might need some more makeup though, or some dry shampoo. I did get some face lotion on Amazon. And so that's there. Paid our cell phone bill. That's through Verizon. And then household we had gotten, I can't remember exactly what the Walmart and Meyer thing was. I think some of it was dishwasher cleaner and then obviously this wrench and from Meyer, I I want to say that it was some type of cleaner but I can't remember and I should have put it in the description for John's personal he's well over and well aware <laughs> and this is primarily getting beer or getting vape juice for me I've spent a little getting um, a couple drinks we both need to cut back on that. It is hard when you're home all the time. And yeah, excuses again. Netflix, we have paid. And then there's nothing else there. Car fund will move over at the end of the month. I always move over money at the end of the month for savings in case we needed to use any of this planned amount. And then we'll just put the rest of it into the savings accounts. We have, however, used a little bit of entertainment in the fact that we did a virtual trivia night for, there was a, there's a bar that hosts these virtual trivias. So it was for Marvel. So John and I did that. And then I did get a new fire stick. So we were having an issue in that we have two, like his old Xbox, and then we have the new Xbox and we have two TVs. So if he's playing video games on the bigger screen TV, he has a wireless remote control for a controller for it and wireless headphones. Well, when I'm watching say Netflix in the other room with the old Xbox, his wireless equipment tries to keep connecting to it and it will lag or whatnot. So we are having some issues. Anyway, we have an old fire stick and we plug that in and it's working, but it's extremely slow. And I was able to get a great deal for, it was for Prime Day. And then I could trade in mine for like a little bit. It ended up costing us less than 10 bucks. So to get a really nice one for 10 bucks, it, was, it wasn't it was that much. So I put that under the entertainment fund. Gift money, I have a subscription I started last month for John to get hot sauce from the Hot Ones. If you will follow them on YouTube, they are pretty awesome and John loves hot sauce. So it's kind of cool that he gets to try out some of the sauces from the show. So that I just put under gift money. For home maintenance, we did go ahead and get our snow blower that I had told you was going to be pretty pricey, but we knew that um, it's kind of exciting to have it ready for, and we'll, you know, I'm sure it'll be exciting maybe the first time it snows <laughs> to use it, but after that we'll be over it, but it's, I'm glad we're prepared. And then we also got fertilizer for the lawn to winterize it because winter is coming. So I think that is everything. 
thus far in October. So I'm pretty excited that it looks like we'll be under in a couple of categories or we're at least on track with everything and I will be over in my income. So that's nice. Uh, looking forward, I am excited about a couple activities I'll be doing safely. Um, we won't be really doing too much for Halloween, I think, but again, just trying to keep an open mindset and stay positive. Enjoy our nice couch and TV and bundle up and watch some movies. So I hope your month is going well. Please share with me in the comments below and let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.